Has this ever happened to you? Oh, my robotic arm's not that great because I made it out of particle board and it's just kind of a bit of a mess. Well, you already have the solution. The 3D printed robotic arm parts. We got braces. We got a base thing. We got a shoulder. We got a forearm. We got a back arm. We got a wrist. Let's do this. So there were a couple problems with the last arm. First of all, everything's just sort of a mess. So I would say this is very well done for something built out of particle board, but again, for something built out of particle board, not the greatest of materials. So I would like to improve that and the overall fit and finish with these new plasticky bits. The second thing is the arm would reach over and then fall over because it had no weight on the bottom. So this time, what I would like to do is have a counterweight on the bottom in order to hold the thing steady. And what better thing to use as a counterweight than a big, heavy metal box, namely the power supply of the arm. This isn't the exact same power supply as I used on the robotic arm earlier, as that one actually broke the day after I filmed that video. So this is a new one, but it's nice and heavy. It probably weighs about a kilo and a half. And I'm gonna use these little brace structures to fit around it and the arm is going to be mounted on top of this box so that if it tries to tilt, hopefully the box will hold it steady. So let's get to it. Let's dismantle this old arm and build a new one. Lovely to meet you, sir. Lovely, lovely to meet you, sir. Oh, no, don't hit my hand. So, uh, here's what we got. So this is the arm. Unlike the last one, this one is fully manually controlled, which I think is really awesome. So at the time of the last one, I was like, well, you know, it'll be more realistic because it'll work without a laptop. Yeah, yeah, screw that. I love being able to control this because I can just do this. You know, on, on demand, I can just move the arm around and have it go into ridiculous positions like this one and block my face. Yeah, so it plugs into the computer. I use processing to write a piece of code that will interface with the Arduino. As far as the construction goes, I used more hot glue than I would like to admit. It sticks really, really well to plastics, especially this PLA. The base is working quite well. Like it's, sure, if I go really jerky on it, it'll tip a bit, but if I'm like being reasonable when driving the arm around, it's awesome. Yeah, I love this thing. I love this thing so much. This is like the best thing I have ever made. It is just awesome. I am so happy with it. The way this, this arm works, uh, if you are curious, is it uses these things called servo motors, which are basically, they're these really cool things where they're just regular motors, but instead of telling them, you know, go forward or go backwards or go fast, go slow, you tell them a position they need to be at in terms of an angle and they just go there, right? They just lock on that position. In my program here, I can specify exactly what degree I want each servo to be representing and it'll just do it. Well, I'm gonna now go set up a paintbrush and canvas and some paints and stuff. And uh, let's give this a test because I think it's gonna be really fun. Hey, so uh, we're gonna test out this arm by trying to paint a picture here. I'm gonna try and paint this little known portrait by this up and coming artist named Leonardo. So I got the arm here, I got some paints there, and uh, let's see how this works out. Let's start with a nice outline of her face, shall we? So we're just gonna bring this over to the paint. I'm gonna get some black to start with. Let's get some eyes. You know, she's got those beautiful, famous eyes that you can like 
stare at you from across the room. So there's one of them. There's her eyes. Okay, let's give her a nose. Beautiful. Eat your heart out, Leonardo da Vinci. We'll give her a background now. We'll, we'll draw some shrubberies in the background of the painting. Oh, beauty. She needs a mouth. You know, she's got that, that famous smile or whatever. I am not an art critic. And I don't really know a whole lot about art, to be honest, but I do know that I'm good at it. Being able to control two motors at once would be very useful right about now. But that's okay, it's not a necessary feature. But now, let's get her some nice blue eyes. Down we go, oh, nice big blue eyes. Beautiful eyes, people like big eyes, they find it attractive, some people. Our uh, Mona Lisa is going to be blonde. So I've got some lovely blonde here. Get some yellow. Oh, and some pink, you know. Uh, maybe she was dyeing her hair, you know. She, she's, she was an early adopter of the whole dyeing the hair thing. Oh yeah, that's a good look. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it's like Goldilocks. So we'll give her an orange hat. It's gonna be nice, like, on the corner of her head, orange hat. Oh, look at that lipstick. Oh, she looks so pretty. All right, and ladies and gentlemen, we are done. Look at that beautiful painting. You see, I told you the robot arm could do it. It turned out really well. Don't you agree with me, robot arm? Look, he's agreeing with me. Back to you, Couch Noah, with the fabulous red jacket. So, that went all right. Yeah, it's not an exactly, um uncanny resemblance to the Mona Lisa. All right, not exactly perfect, but the arm worked pretty well. Lisa also took a crack at it. She tried to paint the screen painting and got that. You know, neither of us are artists, but I think they turned out okay. Anyways, that's about it. If you want to see more of this robotic arm, there are two previous videos that you could check out where I build the robotic arm and use it to dunk cookies and tea as well as slice vegetables. If you like this video, maybe subscribe if you feel like it. If you don't want to, that's fine, but your thing. I'm gonna be trying to respond to every single comment on this video, so leave a really weird one and we'll see what happens. And also, I'm trying out a new editing style, so if you like that, let me know, and if you don't like that, also let me know. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.